Hello, it's Brick Bros UK and following on from our Force Friday haul video, as many of you know, we were far from happy with the promotion, and after reading many of your comments and looking at LEGO news websites, it seems we're not alone. As the whole Star Wars event was riddled with lots and lots of errors, making it more of a Force Friday fiasco rather than a fun experience for fans, which is a shame because we're big Star Wars fans and we usually love this yearly promotion. But anyway, we thought we'd talk about all the different errors that occurred in this video in case any of you guys felt singled out, because once in a while, it's nice to air your grievances. So to begin with, with a bit of research, we found out from Brick Fanatics that like us, many people didn't receive the right UCS Millennium Falcon posters with their orders, and instead got a substitute print, which we guess is okay if you only made one order over the weekend. But like many fans, we decided to make three separate orders on different days of the promotion so we could collect all three posters as a historical memento of the set's release. So due to this mix-up, we missed out on one of the posters, which was annoying, but we didn't leave it at that, so we emailed LEGO Customer Service and they replied saying that the Saturday poster had ran out of stock, so they opted to give us the Jakku print, which to be honest is a fair response. However, we later discovered that this technically wasn't true because two weeks after Force Friday at the midnight UCS Millennium Falcon release event at the London Leicester Square store, they gave out some of these posters. So they must have had some stock and it's a shame they couldn't make extra prints to please unhappy fans who made online orders. And along with this poster mix-up, like many in the community, we felt shortchanged by the overpricing of the Last Jedi sets and lack of stock, the missing poly bags that were available in some countries and not in others, we also thought online orders taking up to two weeks to arrive was way too long for any Star Wars fan to wait, and to top it all off, the Millennium Falcon now won't be available for its release date due to it selling out in the VIP events, which is another blow to Star Wars fans. So overall it goes without saying that like many of you we didn't have the best Force Friday experience and we don't like to complain often about LEGO, but we felt a video had to be made on our experience. But we hope LEGO can learn from these errors to improve Force Friday next year by maybe stocking up on promotional poly bags and posters as well as sets so fans don't miss out. Also, on another note, it would be nice to see the same release dates worldwide for sets and promotions to make it fair for everyone, but we have a feeling this won't happen anytime soon. And even though we were a bit disappointed by Force Friday, it won't dampen our Star Wars spirits because we have lots of fun alternative builds and minifigure creations coming soon, so stay tuned for all of that. And before we finish now that you've heard what we thought of the different Force Friday errors, please tell us your experience of the event by leaving a comment below because we'd love to know if your experience was better or worse. Hope you enjoyed a Brick Bros UK LEGO video and don't forget to check out our channel for more LEGO videos and like, comment and subscribe to Brick Bros UK.